another mega predator was even larger, and it too has a living cousin, the great white shark. The great white has nature's most infamous set of jaws. With its streamlined body, up to nine meters long, and its razor-sharp teeth, the great white is one of today's top marine predators. An efficient hunter, the great white's only flaw is its poor eyesight. Although its real threat to humans is relatively small, the great white still looms as a creature of almost mythic size and power. But the great white is small next to the largest shark to have ever lived in the ocean. If the tooth of today's great white wasn't big enough, Carcharodon megalodon was the size of a bus. When it opened its jaws, it could have swallowed a car. But such an enormous animal raises the question, why was it so big? Carcharodon megalodon, or the largest of the great white sharks, was around probably 15 or so million years. And one of the reasons why we think that megalodon got so large is it responded to available prey, which most likely were whales. About 55 million years ago, the ancestors of whales crawled from the land back into the sea. For millions of years, they were relatively small creatures. Then they started to get bigger in the warmer and food-rich waters of the oceans. Animals get larger in response to food availability. And when you have larger herbivores, for example, then of course the predator gets bigger in response. And this is generally in response to a climatic change. The warmer the climate, the more food source you have, hence the larger animals can actually get. So the megalodon most assuredly got large in response to an availability of food, which were whales, because previously right whales didn't exist. Sharks have been around for hundreds of millions of years, but there were no whales. The shark has a hunting design that has worked successfully for hundreds of millions of years. Row upon row of razor sharp teeth, a conveyor belt of biting tools that are continually renewed. As one row falls off, a new one moves into place. Sharks shed their teeth a thousand times at least in a lifetime. Now, these teeth are not very sharp because they've been tumbled around river sediments and sand for millions of years. But in life, if I were to do this to a real megalodon tooth, I might just cut my finger right off. These are the jaws that made megalodon the ocean's top predator of all time.